Hi everyone, my name is Denise Coughlin, owner of Resley Pilates and Wellness Studios and I'm coming back to you today with another sequence of movements and this time we're going to take it from the mat. So you don't have to come down onto the mat, you can also perform these movements from lying down in the bed, but obviously just make sure that you feel secure and stable while you're doing these movements. And as before, with all of the previous videos and this video, if you've any particular illnesses, in illnesses, um, injuries, anything that might affect you doing any of these exercises, you may need to get medical clearance before you take part in these exercises. Okay, so what we're going to need today is a strap. Now it doesn't have to be one of these yoga straps. You could have a belt or a scarf or maybe a long towel, something that's really long and is nice and sturdy for support. We'll also need a pillow that you can use for underneath your head, underneath the hips, underneath the back, anywhere that feels you need that extra little bit of support. And then your mat if you're coming down onto the floor. And also you can do these lying down from the bed as I explained there earlier on. So if you want to at the moment now, you can take yourself down onto the mat if you are doing it from the floor. And just take yourself down slowly. So if you need to pause the video, come back to the video then um, as you're coming down onto the mat. That's no problem to take your time or stay down from lying down on the bed. Okay, so we're going to take it down onto your mat or staying on the bed slowly. So when I say mat, just try and remember you can't be lying down on the bed. So we're coming down slowly onto your side and we're bringing it back down to lying down position. So do use something underneath your head if you need that extra little bit of support, but nothing too high. You don't want to have like two or three pillows behind your head. It's just to keep your head in line with your spine. But it's totally fine to just keep your head on your mat, lying down. Okay, so we want to bring the two feet in comfortably towards the backs of the legs. Make sure that your feet and your knees are in line with your hips. So we want to come down to the base of the lower part of the spine, to what we call a neutral position. So it's a very gentle curve in the base of the spine. Not too much of a gap where you can slide the hands underneath all the way, just a small gap the hands should slide under but they shouldn't touch together in the middle. If you're lying on a bed, the mattress might be a little bit soft, so sometimes it's very difficult in that position. So just let your body rest. Okay, so we're going to connect through the core. I want you to visualize your belly button ever so gently to drawing towards the direction of your spine. It's not forceful, it's just gentle. And I want you to stay with the breath in this position. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. I want you to visualize your rib cage expanding and contracting as you breathe. In for five and exhaling for five. Resting the shoulders away from the ears and keeping your head in line with your spine. So if you're quite tight across your chest area, just let the palms of the hands rotate so they're facing up towards the direction of the ceiling. And staying with that breath, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. So a very gentle sequence of movements. Remember, don't do anything that you feel uncomfortable with or creating any extra tension or pain in any particular area of your body. So we're going to start off with the lumbar spine, the base of the spine. We're going to tilt the spine gently towards the direction of your mat or towards the mattress and then very gently release. Okay, so it's a rolling and releasing action through the base of the spine. Exhale and inhale. Okay? Movement is coming from the lumbar spine. So if we're working through any lumbar issues, remember going to your own range of movement, not forcing it, and if it doesn't feel comfortable, don't do it. Okay, let's do two more times. Exhale and inhale. And one more time. and coming back to your starting position. Okay, so keeping that nice long spine, we're gonna slide one leg away from you, keeping your leg in contact with the mat or your mattress, and slide the leg back in slowly. Exhale, and inhale, 
and inhale. Okay, so we're alternating legs. As you're moving one leg, we're trying to keep the opposite leg really steady and controlled. Keeping the head centered and keeping the neck and the shoulders relaxed. Good, two more times. One more time. And back to the center again slowly. Okay, so for the next one, if you want to, you can use your hands for assistance or you can use the cushion on either side of your legs. So if you've got extra cushions, you can go on both sides of the legs. So what we're trying to do is to keep one leg actively staying in that neutral position and let one knee slowly, don't let it fall, come out to the side. As I said, you can use your hands to help assist with the movement by pressing in and helping it lower down slowly. Okay, so we're alternating legs on this one. Inhale. And exhale. Good, nice and slow and controlled. So, I want you to think of both hips staying in contact with your mat. Don't let them lift. One leg moves and one leg stays in its starting position. Good. Let's do two more times. We're using through those inner outer thigh muscles. One more time. And then we're coming back into your centered position slowly. Okay, so we're going to try that with two legs. And again, use your hands if you need to for assistance. And closing back in slowly. Only on to your own range of movement to wherever you feel comfortable. Inhale to open and exhale to close. Okay, two more times. One more time. I'm coming back in slowly. Okay, so this time the feet and the knees are touching together. And again, you can use your hands. Probably better off if you could use an extra cushion on either side or one side if you need that extra little bit of support. It's very, it'll reduce your range of movement with your hands on this one, but you can still use them if you need to. But both legs are going to one side. We're going to feel a peeling or a lifting action through one hip, but keep both shoulders down and then bringing it back into the center slowly. So we're still trying to keep the legs together. Imagine like your legs are tied together. Just so it's not putting any excess of stretch or pressure on the back. So this is thoracic rotation, middle part of the spine. But we're also getting a little bit of a stretch along your obliques and coming down into that hip. So if you get a little bit of sciatica, it's a nice one just to help ease off some of the um, symptoms of sciatica. Okay, one more time on each side. Staying with the breath, head and shoulders centered. Coming back into the center one more time. And coming back into the center again slowly. Good. So we're going to open the feet back to your hip distance position, to your neutral position. And we're going to come into some arm circles. So we're going to inhale to begin the circle. And exhaling to finish. Okay. So if you're a little bit restricted or limited with space-wise on this one, you can do it fingertips to your shoulders. And just rolling through the shoulders and the elbows. And then we're going to change direction. Okay, if you find when you're lying down, if you need to move a little bit, do. If you find that it's just a little bit, some people are lying down, it gets a little bit tiring on the back. So you can move around and then bring yourself back in. Okay, one more time. 
and then releasing the arms down slowly by your sides. Okay, so we're coming into the neck, the cervical spine. If you've got something underneath your head, you might find it's a little bit restricting, so you can take that away. Or leave it there, it's fine. Just go to your own range of movement, just gently looking down, not lifting the head. The head stays in contact with whatever you're lying on. And then looking back up towards the ceiling again. Inhale, looking down. And exhale, okay? It's not a forceful movement. It's a gentle, gradual movement. Head nods, like you're nodding your head. One more time. And then bring in the head to center. Okay, rotation. So we're going to look over the shoulder. And then coming back to your starting position. Really important that you relax the shoulders. Open the chest on this position. Coming back into the center again slowly. Okay, two more times. One more time, and back into the centre slowly. Okay, so I'm just going to move this out of the way so you can see this properly. Okay, so we're going to start off with the hands down by your sides, the palms of the hands down towards the mat or towards the whatever you're lying on. We're going to take the hands just to you out to the sides in line with your shoulders. And then we're going to slide the hands back in slowly. So if you can, we're taking a little bit of weight off the hands, but they're not off the floor completely. Okay? And then coming back in slowly. Inhale. And exhale. Okay? If you can't get your hands to come all the way up in line with your shoulders, just go to wherever you feel comfortable. Just sweeping the arms out and in. Okay. So what we're going to do on this one is we're going to open the hands out to the side the same way. And then what I want you to do then is think about the rotation coming through the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist. So we're going to turn upwards with the palms. Okay? And as you get that upward lift with the hands, it automatically opens out through that chest area. We're going to turn the palms down again, rotating, and then sliding back in slowly. Keeping that gentle connection through the core, rotating, rotating down, and coming back in slowly. Okay, remember if you need to move around, you can move around with the back and bring yourself back into your starting position. Okay, so we're going to add in a little bit of a lift on this one. Rotating the hands to face up. And like a big clapping position, we're going to bring those hands together up towards the ceiling. Open the hands down. Palms of the hands facing down. And slide the arms back in slowly. Inhale. And rotate. Exhale, inhale, and rotate, and exhale. Two more times. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and release. Okay, so it's a nice one, really good up through that scapula area, through the chest, upper back, lats, rhomboids, traps, all around that area. Okay, so I'm going to get you to slowly keep your uh, strap close by. I'm going to slowly bring yourself over onto your side. Okay, so while we're lying on your side, you want to make sure that you can support that neck in this position. So you could use something underneath your head, like your pillow, a cushion, or just use your arm to support the neck. Okay, so before we move on, I'm 
going to get you to use your strap and take it around the back of the top leg. Okay, so we have the strap behind the back through the top leg. Okay, we're going to hold on to the two ends of your strap into your top hand and your bottom hand then is resting. So we have the shoulders, imagine like you're lying against the wall, a head against the wall, shoulders against the wall, hips, and I also want you to keep your feet against that imaginary wall. So your knees are slightly ahead of you. Okay, so this one is called the clam, and I'm going to show you with the assistance of the strap. So we hold on to the strap with your two hands, and we're going to take that leg and lift it open. Your two feet stay touching, but your knees open, and then bring it back down slowly. Inhale to lift and exhale to lower down slowly. So we're actively pressing your feet together gently and that will help to work this one a little bit more. So what this one's doing is working through that glute area into your hip around that waist area. But because we're holding onto the strap then, it's also going to work through the arms. Okay, so you can make the arms take as much of the weight on that one as you need to. We want to make sure that the shoulders are relaxed. And then if you want to make that one harder, just ease off so there's no tension on that uh, strap. And let the arms rest so the leg is doing all that work. Inhale to open. And exhale to close. Inhale to open and exhale to close. Okay, so it's only a small range of movement. Inhale and exhale. Good, two more times. Inhale and exhale. One more time. And then coming back down slowly. Okay, so you can stay on that one if you want to, but what we're gonna try and do this time is to bring your strap, if it's long enough, we're going to take it behind the back of your foot in that same position. Okay, so it's through the inside of the leg. We're holding on to both ends of your strap. And remember, you can stay on the previous one. So what we're trying to do this time is to raise the leg off the bottom leg. And we're going to hug it in towards you, just to where you feel comfortable. Push it back and lowering down slowly. Raise the leg up slightly, using the arm to help you lift. Hug the knee in, press it away, and lowering down slowly. Okay, so it's very important on this one that the pelvis stays in that stacked position, so there's no change. You don't have to do the full movement if you just want to raise the leg up and lower the leg down, you can taking it up, hugging it in, taking it away, and down slowly. Okay, and obviously then again you can do this without the strap. So you would just take the strap away and repeat the same thing. Lift, hugging in, pressing away, Lowering down. Let's do two more times. It is going to be quite hard. It's not an easy one. One more time. And down slowly. Okay, so if you can, just slide that top leg in front a little bit higher up. And just let it rest into that stretch. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Good. Okay, we're going to repeat that on the opposite side. So for the purpose of the video, I'm going to change ends on the mat, but all you need to do is to roll over onto your other side. So I'm going to come up slowly and take it over to the other side. Okay, so resting down, making sure that you feel comfortable. Okay, so remember if you're working through any injuries, you might be only able to do it on one side if you find that it's too hard on the other side or you're having rehab on the opposite side. Just do it on the one side and work through what you can. 
Okay, so your shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked, knees and ankles, like as if you're lying against the wall with your head, your shoulders, your hips, and your feet, and your knees are slightly forward. So then we're going to take the strap behind the back of that leg, behind the knee area. Okay, so the clam. We're going to inhale open and exhale coming down slowly. So you can play around with the strap position, your scarf, so you're assisting yourself on that lift. So because we're using the arm on this one, it is going to work through that shoulder area a little bit more. So relax your shoulders. Feet are pressing together gently. And we're trying not to roll that hip backwards. Okay, so remember you can take your strap away and just work through body resistance. Inhaling to open. And exhaling to close. Inhale and exhale. Okay, two more times. Just do as many as you can. One more time. Okay, so we're going to slide that down towards your foot this time. And remember, you don't have to use it if you want to make it a little bit more challenging. Okay. So we're going to take the bottom leg, or the top leg, off the bottom leg, hug it in towards you, pushing back into the center position, and then coming back down slowly. If you just want to lift the leg on its own, and lower the leg on its own, you can. And you can do this without your strap. No movement through the pelvis, through the shoulders and the head. Okay, so it is quite a challenging one, so just do what you feel comfortable with. Okay, staying with the breath. Two more times, if you want to stop, stop. Coming down slowly, one more time. And down slowly. Well done. Okay, so taking the strap away and we're just going to take that top leg and just let it come forwards and relax it into a little bit of a stretch. Staying with the breath, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. And then when you're ready, we're going to bring it slowly back around to your lying down position. Okay. And then just to give it a little bit of a stretch after that one, before we come into the breathing position, we're going to come into a little bit of rotation like what we did in the warm-up. So two feet together, you can use your cushions or your hands. We're going to take both legs to one side as you inhale. And exhale, coming back through to the center. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, very slowly, don't let the legs drop, head and shoulders staying centered, two more times, one more time, and back into the center slowly, well done, okay, so we're going to come into the lying down breathe, breathing position. So you can stay with the legs bent if you want to roll over onto your side, whatever way you want to feel comfortable. Just staying in that position. Straight leg, bent leg, cross leg, any way that feels comfortable lying down. We're going to make sure the head, shoulders, legs are resting. You can use your arms down by your sides with your palms pointing up and just let the tension fall away from the body. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Breathing in for five and exhaling for five. Filling up the lungs, expanding the ribcage on the inhale breath 
and contracting the rib cage on the exhale breath. Okay, so we're coming to that lying down breathing. Five second count to six, seven, eight, nine, working to ten, and ten working back to five. Okay, so we're going to start on the five second. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, and exhaling, two, three, four, five. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, six, exhaling, two, three, four, five, six. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <coughs> Excuse me. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. And back to inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhaling, two, three, four, five. And just staying with a natural breath, avoiding counting. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Nice long deep breaths. Filling up the lungs as you inhale, emptying out the lungs on the exhale breath. Okay, so we're just going to bring the awareness back into the room again. If you've had the eyes closed, you can open them again slowly. Wiggle the fingers, the toes. And maybe take it into a little bit of a stretch. And then slowly, just going to bend the legs. If you are coming up, if not, you can just stay down. And bring yourself over slowly and bring yourself up slowly. Good, not coming up too quickly because sometimes you feel a little bit dizzy at the top. And if, as, as I said, if you're lying down, stay lying down. We're just going to get those shoulders a little bit of a roll, loosening out through the upper back and neck. Staying with the breath. The same in the opposite direction. and release it down slowly. So well done. I hope you enjoyed that. If lying down mat work or lying down the mattress is not really something that you want to practice at the moment, that's fine. Just scroll back through the videos. There's a lot of videos from seated as well as standing as well that you can practice at home. So I'll be coming back to you again with some more videos and I shall chat to you all soon.